We can also agree on the need to stand up to anti-Catholic bias, to defend religious liberty, and to create a culture that celebrates life. And then he goes on to say this. And we've got to come together, not only as a nation, but as a world community. Thank you very much. God bless you. And God bless America. Thank you. Thank you. So he's talking about the one world government there. And we've, world got community. To come, and we've got to come together, not only as a nation, but as a world community. And he says the religious leaders here are to be an example for everybody else. And the great religious leaders here tonight give us all an example that we can follow. Okay, I don't think they're probably that good of an example. In the scriptures that we Jews and Christians and Muslims cherish. And we've got to come together, not only as a nation, but as a world community. this thing and there's a crown above it I, we couldn't make out what these different metals are there on his shoulder but let me just show you what this thing is this is the order of the British Empire OBE for God and the Empire hmm you say what's significant about that well this order if you do the research into it you can look into it more but it's a it's a British Commonwealth order. In other words, it's people that are subservient to the throne of England. The throne of England being subservient to the Vatican. It is a basically a Shriner level. Of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. His message about rejecting a mindset of hostility. His calls to reduce inequality. His warnings about climate change. We can also agree on the need to stand up to anti-Catholic bias. Stand up to anti-Catholic bias. Well, then I guess I'm going to be in trouble, huh? Because I'm anti-Catholic. Because I'm against Roman Catholicism. Oh, but he's the lesser of two evils, right? Oh, you know, Hillary's such a wicked you know, liberal and thinks, and she is. But he'll be so much better. They're both servants of the Vatican. So, folks, this is all in control of the Jesuits. So the joke being here is that Henry Kissinger and the other people that he mentioned uh, are Catholic. I mean, what you're getting told here is the truth in the form of jokes. Now, without the amazing support of the many devoted Catholics on stage, you know, Catholics like Henry Kissinger, <laughs> Howard Rubenstein. Right, all Jews, apparently, you know, and according to the internet, conspiracy truthers, the Jews run the world. So this guy's telling you the truth here in the form of a joke. Now, without the amazing support of the many devoted Catholics on stage, you know, Catholics like Henry Kissinger, Okay, because they're not Jews, they are Catholic.